usually propolize shut a little bit. Let's see if this one has any bees. Got some few bees. So the first four or the last four bars don't have anything on them. The idea is that we might need to combine some uh, so that they make it over the winter, but sure. we're gonna have nukes ready to go before anyone else in Wisconsin. So in this bar, I'm seeing a decent amount of honey. Some of the bars that they had um, had honey in in ours, they've, they've, they've got some brood in it now. Oh yeah? Man, <laughs> less honey. I feel like I need to start feeding. I don't like the idea of feeding, especially so early. Yeah. Well, I see some eggs in here, so we do have a queen. <laughs> Look at all that brood. Ooh, yeah. Beautiful. That's some nectar. What are you seeing in there? Nectar and honey. What that side? Uh, there's some larva down here. Okay. Yeah, larva right up around. Nectar all in here and then honey across the top. So, they're doing pretty good. These are so calm compared to the ones over there and compared to mine. And actually that first hive um, has always been very aggressive. I'm not seeing any queen cells going on this this time. This Last is, time I was here there were a lot of queen cells. This is a beautiful comb. Just jam-packed. How perfect. Look how perfectly shaped that is. <laughs> yeah, brood, pollen, larva, and Honey and nectar. You got a little of everything yeah, in this one. This one too. Oh, there are a couple sharing nectar up here. Oh, oh nice. So precious. Um, oh, we got an emerging bee. Nice. Hey, little lady, you coming out? Oh, we got a little cocoon here. Coming out. I did see eggs here, but I haven't actually spotted the queen yet. A lot of times I just, I won't even bother looking for the queen. <laughs> see eggs and you, you know you got a queen, right? Yeah. So you just did a really quick inspection yesterday? Yeah. Enough to go through and see what was going on with their honey situation. Yeah. Try to determine if I do need to feed. Because I know they've been in the goldenrod, but I don't know how much nectar they're getting from it. Mm -hmm. I was kind of disappointed in it. Some seeing the some of the dwindling stores. Yeah. So I might just put some, make some syrup up and put it in today. Prefer not to, but there's so many of them in there right now. <laughs> Still, and huh? I I added some bars just to kind of give them some space at the back. Mm -hmm. And I I did checkerboard in a couple. They're not locked with the rotor lock, but they're locked with propolis. <laughs> Wow, this, this one is uh, full of comb, it seems. Oh yeah, all the way to the back. It's so interesting. They're right next to each other. Like, why is it so different? Yeah. Huh? You got a honey. You got a queen cell. Ooh, two, two queen cells. here too. I'm seeing honey. I'm not seeing a lot of bees yet. Uh, that is interesting. A lot of empty space. No, no honey and no uh, eggs. Oh, a few bees. Oh, drones, huh? Uh oh. Wait, are they drones? Ooh. Those dudes? There's a couple of dudes in here. Yeah. <laughs> Holding the bar with one hand like that, you're freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> this one's light, fortunately. Yeah, I'm not seeing any eggs. I am not seeing much of anything. That is so weird. 
Like they've got some decent honey stores in there, don't they? Yeah, some, but uh, uh, most of the comb is empty. Oh, look at the pollen on the back of this one. You see her? Um, right there. Oh, you're going to touch it with your nose? <laughs> yeah. I see that. This is very, very sparse. That's so sad. Oh. Squished? I just caught a yellow jacket. Oh, wow. It landed right here and I was like... <laughs> trying to rob? Maybe. Yeah, there's not much of anything going on in this side. It's so sad. All that beautiful comb. Decent amount of honey, it looked like. From yeah. I guess you could be looking to move those bars over. Yeah. I don't see any eggs. So are you looking to get master beekeeper status? <laughs> How long does that take? I don't know. Ten years? I'm not there. A thousand hours? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's supposed to be, what, 10,000 hours to get proficient in something? Yeah, that's going to take a few more years, huh? Now taking more pictures of bees this year than my kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're official. Doesn't that make you a master beekeeper? <laughs> I think it takes a little more than that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Larva, nectar, brood. I'm seeing drone brood, lots of drone brood, worker brood. Yeah. Drone brood in the middle. Yeah. Tons of larvae, lots of eggs. Larva, larva, eggs. Good, good, good. I've seen enough. I'm closing this one up, they're getting mad. What'd you do to them? The usual. <laughs> in this hive we see a lot of wax particles along the bottom of the hive. Just a little bit, I need to scrape in. We'll take a quick look at this. Oh, oh, it's not. I'm guessing that's why we we're seeing all that wax down there and the dead bees. Mm -hmm. They were taken advantage of. So here's the hive that contains the disgusting water in the bottom. So gross. So this comb here is kind of turned rancid because it was sitting in water. Got a couple of emergency queen mm -hmm. cells. Mm -hmm. One on each side. So today we're putting the comb into this dry hive and taking it out of that wet, rancid smelling hive. So you think we should just cut that off? I feel like we should cut. Do you have a knife we can cut that?